<clears throat> Good evening, everybody. Thanks for listening. This is Hunter here, and I'm here with my bud Colin. Colin, how you doing, good sir? I'm I'm doing well. It's it's good to be back uh, recording some podcasts here. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks. If you guys haven't heard my review of a uh, Bad Santa Two and a uh, Moonlight, you should go check those out. Uh, two definitely different reviews, uh, to be sure, but. Uh, ones I'm really proud of, especially Moonlight. But uh, we're here to talk here to talk about something that I am not happy to be talking about, and that is Fifty Shades of Bullshit. Because, God damn it, Colin, we're getting Fifty Shades darker, and just, uh, dude, why? Why? Are I'm, I- I'm not excited. I'm not excited about this at all. I'm. And look, in, in, if you listen to our review, uh, which uh, uh, for Fifty Shades of Grey, we actually talked about the fact, or at least um, in me and Scott's review, we talked about the fact that the first like twenty minutes, we were like, "Oh, okay, this isn't horrible," but then it just it plummets very quickly, and this. I don't know, man. This this looks bad. It really does. Yeah. I just, I just, I have no reason to think it won't be bad. And I, the one thing I mentioned that, you, you know, here, here, I'll, I'll kind of put in this term. So, you know, like something, a movie we like, like we both really like, if not love, is Step Brothers. Like it's a dumb movie. <laughs> like, yeah, no, like, movie. Like, like, hear me out. Like it's a dumbass movie. The plot makes no sense, but it's a comedy. Wait, so, what? <laughs> Colin, it's a dumbass movie, but. It, it makes you laugh as a comedy. So in that sense, it accomplishes its goal. This is a movie about sex, and the first movie felt nothing. I was sitting there like, this isn't hot, this isn't sexy, uh, none of, this is, this is doing nothing for me at all. But I heard about, you know, women, like, diddling themselves, or don't diddle kids, gotta be big. Um, but they're, like, they're like women who are, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's always funny reference. Thank you. But, but you know, you hear about women fingering themselves in the theater and shit because the movie was so hot. I'm like, what movie were you watching? Because what I saw was something that just made me go, yeah, this, this is pretty bad sex. Uh, I've had better sex in it, trust me. But, uh, but, but sick brag, bro. <laughs> thanks, man. But, but honestly, though, the first movie, like from as far as this core concept to, you know, get into that whole BDSM uh, uh, aspect and that culture, and you know, to really entice, I think the movie failed epically. And just from the little clips that they showed for this trailer, I'm feeling the exact same way. I, I. Still don't understand how, uh, what's this girl's name? Uh, Anastasia Steele is still so infatuated with this tool. Um, Such a stupid name, too, by the way. Anastasia Steele, yeah. It sounds like yeah. a... It, and, and, and that's actually just like, that's dissing the source material, which is the book on that one. Which I, I'm, I'm sure the book sucks. <laughs> and I know, like, uh, the book was like, you know, this phenomenon, but, um, yeah. I don't think the story's that good. Like you're commenting, like you know, like the you know, you you it didn't get you hard, you know, which is a bummer. I was really hoping it would. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> like you know, I was really bummed out for you when I heard that. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I think the story sucks too. Like I I wasn't engaged in like what happens to any of these people. I thought it was just a bunch of ex- like dumb excuses to set up some sex scenes that you know doesn't even get Hunter hard. Like the movie just failed on all fronts. Yeah, seriously, what the hell? I mean, I. I got more turned on watching Christina Hendricks in Bad Santa too. Of course, there's, of course, there, of course, there's a point where she says, "Tell me I'm a dirty girl," and I went, "Whoa!" And like, hello, pop, hello, popcorn. Why you feel my lap? But, uh, but, but this just, this looks bad, man. And what I will say, I will give the movie at least this much. Um, it's the way it's shot, the cinematography. I think yeah. is, I think is well done. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's in Seattle, and I live in Seattle, and um, you know, it seems like they they show off Seattle in like a cool way. Um, I, I agree with you on that. Yeah, so I mean, I'll, I'll give them that much, but um, looking through this, man, I just go ugh. Like, and then they have a uh, Kim Basinger in this shit now, who I guess plays um, an like a pat like an ex. 
uh, of Christians, which, you know, who cares? Um, yeah, yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't care less about that storyline going forward either. I'm just like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> you, you know, so th- th- this is what I will say about this. I mean, and I almost hesitate to say this because I feel like this movie might prove me right. Um, I don't think it can be worse than the first one. But again, I hesitate very much to say that because then this will be somehow worse than the first one. So, I, I mean, one thing, you know, and even the Twilight movies, say what you will about them. Uh, I think it was uh, Eclipse and even the and then uh, Breaking Dawn Part 2 even were actually, they, they weren't like so bad that I just wanted to cry. Like I just, I never felt yeah. like, like, you know, like walking out. But that first Fifty Shades of Grey, I was like, I'm really happy I saw this at home, so I didn't pay eight bucks for it because I would have been really pissed off. You uh, didn't see Fifty Shades of Grey in the theater? I did not. No. Oh, yeah, I, I had to go like opening weekend. It was some bullshit. Yeah, I, I'm very happy I have a girlfriend now that is more excited about Rogue One than she is about Fifty Shades of Darker. I'm yeah, very, I'm I'm very grateful for that. I don't I don't think I don't think uh, Nikki's super excited to see the second one. She was she was disappointed in the first one, um, and she's a fan of the book. So um, this this is what I have to say about this movie. I think this is like one of those movies where it's like that weird situation where. Like, almost everyone acknowledged that the first movie sucked. Like, it kind of, like, you know, it was on a lot of, like, worst of lists of the year. Um, yeah. I mean, it was it was my number one worst movie. It was on all of our lists in the top, like, five or three. I don't even know. But, um, I, I mean, I think it was, like, you know, up there in the Razzies, right? Mm-hmm. Wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, like, really well, you know, established that it was – a bad movie that year and uh usually with a movie that you know is that terrible it doesn't do well in the box office but this was one of those weird situations where like it had such a following from the book that it just killed in the box office i mean absolutely cleaned up you know made a ton of money so it's just gonna they're gonna make all the books they're gonna make a movie for every one of the books you know as as long as this second one you know keeps does you know, a good percentage of what the first movie did. Well, so we're just going to get shitty movies and they don't even have to try because they know they're going to make money. Um, so I, I have no faith that this movie is going to be any better. If anything, it's just, just going to be worse. Yeah. So, and apparently they're already like, I guess they're already working on 50 shades freed, which is the next movie. So I mm-hmm. guess, and that comes out in 2018, which... So it doesn't even matter how well this movie does. No. The, the third one's coming. Yeah, the third one's coming. Um, the, the one thing I am grateful for, it looks like they're not splitting... They're not Harry Pottering that shit, where they're splitting it into two movies, which, thank the oh Lord. Oh, God, God. <laughs> so it looks like we'll get... You know, after this, we'll get one more, and then we'll be done with this. You know, thank... Again, thank heaven. Um, but, you know, my my biggest problem with this and and women, I'm speaking to you exclusively here. If you give your husband or boyfriend uh, or girlfriend um, shit about liking Transformers or the Marvel or DC movies, you have no leg to stand on if you like this shit because this shit is Transformers level bad. And I hate the Transformers movies with every fiber of my being. And I and this is the yin to Transformers yang. This is the female Transformers because it is just. It's something that looks pretty, that is hollow as shit. And that's all these movies are. Mm -hmm. And God help me, the fact this comes out in, I think around 2018, I think it opens up around the same time Black Panther opens up, which just makes me oh so goddamn sad, because that will steal some of its profit. But this shit, just God almighty, man. This, my only hope for this is that I'm just not irritated. Like I was in the first one. Like that's the one thing I'm kind of hoping for, and and Lord knows I probably will be. But but if this just doesn't piss me off like the first one did, I would I would consider it a small victory for the movie. But uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping. I'm like I'm like excited to see like like if it can one up itself on how like you know <laughs> mad it makes you. I mean the thing is that the first one just. I, I mean, it, to, to quote Peter Griffin, it grinded my gears. I was just sitting there about an hour in, thinking, "God, this is a good, I got another fucking hour of this." And yeah, you, you know, I if like, there's a line like when he's like, "I don't make love, I fuck hard." Yeah, like there's something like on that level. Like 
I'm 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 excited. Yeah, it, let's and, see this. And if you notice, it feels it felt like they skipped around a lot of the dialogue for this trailer. It was a lot of very like quick lines and a lot of you know music because maybe they know that God, this script is really bad. We probably shouldn't put you know any shitty lines like into the into the actual trailers because men are already fucking depressed that they have to go see this shit. Um, yeah, I just mm-hmm. and, and and then just kind of get down to another thing. The two people, I don't think they're that attractive. I really don't. Like, for, you know, that's, like... That's racist. It, <laughs> is it? <laughs> I didn't say these... I didn't say these two these two honkies weren't attractive. I didn't say that, but... I just, that's what I heard. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> but, <laughs> you two honkies. <laughs> you know? yeah. These two honkies, they're not even... They don't have big asses at all. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. Well, that, that is what I like. But anyway... <laughs> yeah. but, but honestly, though, like, I don't think... And uh, I don't think she's very attractive. And the dude, I don't think is attractive at all. He, he's a he's a block of wood too. He cannot yeah. act worth a damn. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Jamie Dornan. That's yeah. dude. Yeah, he's terrible. Like he's really bad. And oh. um, we never reviewed this movie, but I saw Dakota Johnson in uh, How to Be Single, and I wasn't crazy about her in that either. I just, I don't know. Maybe. She, Maybe she's a cool person to hang out with. I don't know, but I just from what I've seen of her, I'm like, eh, you're okay, I guess. Eh, but, yeah. But, can I can I can I say something that is like a glimmer of hope? Go ahead. Um. So the first director of the first movie, um, uh, who was a a, a female director, um, she is gone. Her name was Sam Taylor Johnson. Yep. Um, we were we are now replaced with someone who's most notably um, uh, done recently is uh, House of Cards. Uh, a lot of House of Cards um, directed twelve episodes of it. In fact, um, so you know we'll, that maybe that maybe that's something you know we can we can look forward to. But I don't know. It's it's a small glimmer of of, of hope. You know, and you know, and that's fair, man. Cause, cause at this point, I'm just kind of reaching. I'm, I'm just kind of grasping for straws. Yeah, cause... and I'm just, I'm trying. I'm, 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 I'm looking at it, and I'm like, obviously, the people in charge of, you know, the, the, the producers were like, they realized that it was not a well um, liked movie critically, um, so they made a change and they went to uh, James. James Foley, and actually the cinematography, it actually really, it, it, it reminds me of um, House of Cards, a yeah, lot the, of it. Yeah. So, um, you know, tone, and, and maybe we're going to get a lot better performances and dialogue from these actors, because he can, you know, he's used to directing um, Kevin Spacey, who is awesome. So we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. That, that's the best thing it's got going for it at this point, is that they, they ditched the last director. Yeah, yeah, I, I, again, I hope this is all right. I do, but to say that I'm sitting here like, Ew. I actually don't care. I don't, I'm, I don't hope it's all right. I actually hope it's worse. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like it won't be because they did because that that the, the, changing the director. I feel like that can only it can only be better. Um, That's fair. But, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll we'll find out. But uh, yeah, guys, what, how are you feeling about the Fifty Shades Darker? Are you one of the unfortunate souls that has to take your girlfriend or boyfriend to go see this shit? Um, let us know how you're feeling about it in the comments below. You can uh, follow yours truly on the Twitter at J Hunter Real Pineapple. You can follow Mr. Colin O'Neill on Twitter at the Real O'Neill. And you can like us on Facebook at the Real Pineapple and follow us on SoundCloud at the Real Pineapple Seven Seven Five. Guys, this weekend. We will have one main review, and that is for Rogue One. Thank God it's finally at, coming out. Oh, it's been so long. I need my Star Wars fix. So that that's pretty much that's like all we have <laughs> scheduled is Rogue One because that will probably take us a half hour to talk about. But guys, thank you so much. We'll talk to you.